I bought a putter online for $47.99 American. And then I customized said putter. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. So let's get at it. The putter I bought is a Ray Cook Silver Ray SR900. So this putter was the perfect length for me, but I like a heavier putter and I like those big obnoxious grips as well. My first thought was to put that lead tape on the bottom of the putter. Then I noticed looking at the back of the putter, it looks like a little I-beam that runs to the back of the putter face. And I thought this might be a great location to put some weights in. So that is my plan. I'm gonna put weights right in these two grooves to make this putter heavier. And I think I'd be happy with that. So we ran to the store and grabbed some fishing weights. And my thought was, since lead is such a soft metal, maybe I can hammer these round weights into squares. And that way I can get glue on three sides of a square when I put it into this putter. So I have six of these half ounce fishing weights. The first thing I'm gonna do is hammer them flat. And then I held them up on their side and hammered them again into a square. So I'm just gonna put them in the club here and check them out for size. I think that's gonna work well. My next step was putting some painter's tape on the club just so I don't get glue all over the place. Liquid nails was the glue that I had in the garage. So we're gonna run with it. So I put the glue in between each weight where they're gonna be touching each other. And I also filled that whole groove on the club on both sides with liquid nails. Then we just drop the weights into the groove and cover them completely with the liquid nails. So the next part was to get rid of the grip that came on the club. And for that, I just ran to Golf Galaxy and I picked out one of those oversized grips. Uh, they put it on for $2.99. And for the final step, I painted the club head flat black where the, where the glue and the weights are. And I also painted the whole shaft flat black to match. Hey, listen, if this video was helpful or remotely entertaining, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And looking at the club after we painted the area where the weights are, if you're not looking for it, you can't even see it. All right, so we took this putter that cost us $47.99 and we souped it up a little bit and it's a great putter for me. It should be noted that even though I really love my new putter, it's, uh, it's not making me a better putter. Thank you for watching today and we will catch you next time. Man, that air swing is on fire.